moving away from MMA just momentarily, um, Junior Far, Dougie was telling me before that there might be something in the wind. Yeah, I mean, that fight is, you know, on the precipice. That fight's ready to go. There's some really minor details that have to be worked out, but um, there's nothing really holding us back from that fight. There's a couple of minor things that, um, you know, uh, uh, Joseph's camp have, have to agree on, and once they agree on that, then um, as, far as, I, as, as far as I'm concerned, um, that fight should be going ahead. So I'm really excited. Um, the, there's a lot that's been going on in the background. Um, you know, uh, Joseph's had to compromise, Junior's had to compromise, but we're coming and coming, coming closer and closer. Um, Junior's made a lot of compromising, and there's th certain things that he's not willing to compromise on because we've we've done more than our share of compromising on. So eventually, after you've compromised more than the other camp, you have to draw a line in the sand and say, look, no more. Like, that's it. So that's where it is, take it or leave it That's right where now. it is. That's yeah. where it is for us, um, um, take it or leave it. We've, we've, we've compromised enough on, on particular issues and, like, we don't have to compromise anymore because we've done more than, we've done more compromising than them. <laughs> and it's just the business of the sport. But, um, you know, all that aside, um, <coughs> look, uh, uh, you know, that's a fantastic fight for uh, the New Zealand public. Um, uh, uh, you know, like Junior, Junior, and our team, we have nothing. Like for us, it's no pressure. We have nothing to lose. Uh, uh, for Joseph, it's a little bit more pressure. He, you know, we're the underdogs. He's the favourite. Um, I'm sure he's like. I'm not going to say overconfident, but I'm sure he's quietly confident that he can get the job done. And we, and this is like what we. This is what we live for. This was what we're most enthusiastic for. When we get a guy like Joseph who has a little cheeky smile on his face and he knows he's, he has that little bit of confidence and that glitter in his eye, like those are the, those are the times and those are the, you know, that, that's what motivates us the most when we get this sort of opponent that thinks he's got it in the bag. Uh, this is where we do our best work. So I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to getting into this fight. Is any date or a venue been set yet? Uh, I think they're looking around November, December. I don't think there's a date. Like you have to talk to uh, the people that know, know a lot more about that side of things than me. Um, you know, David Higgins, the, the Mark Cadells, and et cetera, et cetera. So, so what do you do? Just keep them uh, at a, a level? Or yeah, I mean, we, I mean, <coughs> we, we, I mean, everything we do is, you know, every every little bit of work that we do with um, Junior. Um, in terms of all the coaches, is um, aimed directly at Joseph Parker, and I'm sure he's doing the same. Um, so you know, these guys are on each other's radar, like they're right in front of each other. So uh, it's it's exciting. Cool. Hey, thanks Eugene for talking to us. We might not get to see you again before the uh, <laughs> with the travel commitments and things like that. But yep. uh, if we don't, all best over there and. Yeah, we've got New Zealand watching you. Yeah, no, thank you for your support. Thank you for everybody's support, Tony. And uh, yeah, thanks for getting behind the guys. Cheers. Junior, it's been a long way. Junior. Oh, <laughs> my yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you late to training today? Late to training? I'm not, I'm not late to training. <laughs> Why are you late to training? <laughs> I text you, where are you? You should be here and you weren't here. Where I you? think I was at my physio. Yeah, your physio. Yeah. Is the physio more important than actual training? Well, because I was already scheduled in. Is the massage more important than actual <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were on at 12. Will you be executing a takedown against Joseph Parker since you train? <laughs> <laughs> if hey. you train at an MMA gym, and you should be practicing your takedowns. Who knows? I might go for a takedown. You know? Expect the unexpected. Street. Yeah, pretty much. Should ball. we do 11 rounds of boxing and then one round of MMA? <laughs> could be so. I think he might be better at Joseph at MMA than he is. I think he could be better at MMA than he is. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so that, what, what I'm saying is like if 11 rounds went badly for us. Then I'm shooting. Then we could have a chance at 12. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I yeah. Think, I think Maybe. we should ask Mark Cadell 
to get together with David Higgins and negotiate the 12th round to be MMA rules. Why not? I'm serious. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Why not? Let me think about it. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, well, the professional's done the, his interview. Oh, I'll have a go again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fun every day here, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it is. Be- no, nah, yeah. Between yeah, him and Dougie, last. between him and Dougie, it must be good. Good yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's always a, it's always a good. Uh, there, there's always good energy around here, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone's laughing with each other at each other. Yeah, it's good fun. Well, the the laughing's about to stop by the sound of things. You're getting closer and closer to that date. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, we are getting closer towards the fight. Um, I'm getting myself prepared in the best way that I can. Uh, and then, you know, I just got to make sure that I tick all the boxes. How, how long since you've been in the ring now? Almost a year, late in the year last year. So by the time I get into the ring, this time it'll be over a year, yeah. That's not a concern for you? Uh, it is what it is because of how the world is right now. Uh, with this pandemic going on, there's not too much we can do about that, but we'll just roll with it. Uh, and you know, I'm just excited to actually have have something lined up and to actually work towards something, you know, because we did have some plans this year that turned into mud because of uh, because of this pandemic. But but now that we get to work towards something, this has like you know fired up the trainings a bit more and it gives me uh, a target to work towards. And you know, you fought twice before, uh, four, times. Or four times and two wins each, and. Um, was there always that uh, it should have been 3 1 or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, back in the amateur days, you know, I, I was a bit sour on the ones that I lost. Um, but, like, you know, with amateurs, you know, like you, when you lose, sometimes you get ripped off. That, that's, you know, that's unfortunately like the bad side of the sport. But, like, you know, I think that's in everything. There's corruption in all sports, especially when there's money involved. But, um, but, but going into this fight, I'm not even thinking about those uh, past fights. You know, that that was so long ago. First time we fought was in 2009. Last time we fought was in 2012. Uh, now we've uh, both turned pro. He he has had like like a lot of rounds with top top quality opponents. Um, yeah, so I'm expecting a completely different fighter than than a fighter that I fought what like eight years ago. So yeah. And, but it must give you confidence that you thought they had the better of him back then. It's not a big imposing figure that you don't know any, too much about. Yeah, definitely. Like you know, I still I still see stuff that I've seen from him when we first fought. You know, so yeah. So I I, I come into this fight with a bit of confidence that I uh, that I know some of his moves. You know, this isn't a completely new Justin Parker, but it's just a more fine-tuned version of himself. Um, yeah, so I'm just getting myself prepared for that and, and I know it's going to be a hard fight. The negotiations have been going for a long time. Um, do you just st- step back and let the managers take part of that or you have to put your wants in there as well? Um, I'm aware of what goes on. Uh, I don't totally get myself into it because uh, because I trust my team, you know. If, uh, if my team's happy, then I uh, then I know that everything's gone smoothly, and I know that they have um, got my best interests. So um, yeah, so like you know, we are still working towards a good contract that we uh, that both sides can agree on. Um, once that once that gets agreed to, then like you know, I'm. Uh, that uh, then I think both camps are going to be happy and like you know I, I definitely know me and Joseph Parker just can't wait to fight. <laughs> how, how are you two guys outside the room? Like, you, do you have anything to do with each other? Uh, not not too much but yeah, yeah but like you know like we're not rude towards each other or like anything it's just it's just 
it's just two it's, it's just two boys from South Auckland, you know, um, trying to get the best that we can out of life. Uh, so like you know, whenever I see him, or like you know, whenever he sees me, we're just both civil towards each other. So like you know, there's uh, there's no bad there's no bad blood there. This is just business. Talking about blood, blood was an issue for you because you had a medical problem. Um, is that completely well and truly behind you now? Well and truly behind me now, you know, I feel much better. Now that I look back to the times when I was training towards a fight, when I had those problems, you know, I, it's, it's, it's just, I, I just feel completely different. And I can't believe that I actually went through those fights, like knowing how tired I was, but like, you know, Coming into this fight, I know I'm going to be much different than what people have seen from me. So, yeah, so that also gives me confidence going into this fight as well. Hey, Junior, thanks very much for talking to us and we'll uh, get some updates on as we get closer to the time. Yeah, yeah, sweet, thank you. Anytime. Hey, thanks, I really appreciate no, it. Man. No problem, bro, no problem. Ah, that's cool. I can remember, I was just looking through some old footage the other day. It seemed to no, the one we were yeah, down yeah. in um, yeah. uh, Boxing Central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, was a, that was a week long ago. Well, 2007. Oh, but, I mean, two, 2017, 2016. So. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Things have changed in your life since then, yeah, mate. Definitely. Hey. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. How'd you get on the lockdown? Did you do any cooking? <laughs> uh, a little bit. I try. Uh, I try not to do it too much. <laughs> but yeah.